No, because why is that the best thing I've ever heard in my life? I wasn't expecting that. I'm tweeting her right now. You're joking. It's my favorite so far. This may be my favorite. No, this is my favorite. What the hell? Obsessed. I am obsessed. Let's do a moment of silence for my song that's gone, but not forgotten. Dear society. Oh my god, it's 11.59 and I'm freaking out. Hey guys, so today's video, oh my god, life support is gonna come out in one minute. Tonight I'm going to be reacting to Life Support by Madison Beer. One of the first music reactions I made on this channel was to Madison Beer's EP. I can't believe it was three years ago. In 2018, I made it in my dorm room. It's not currently public anymore. <laughs> I've been waiting for her album since that came out and it's here. Oh, I didn't know there was a cover art. I'm so excited. I think the concept of this album, the theme, the song titles is immaculate. I haven't been this excited for an album in a while. I feel like it has so much potential and I know it's gonna meet my expectations. I'm also just so proud and happy for Madison. We're the same age, 99 babies, and I don't know, I feel like she's accomplishing so much and um, it's been a long time coming, I'm sure, for her first album. I just gotta say quick side note, I was heartbroken when she said Dear Society wasn't gonna be on the album because I think that's my favorite song that she's released and maybe I was just really happy in 2019 when this song came out but I was devastated because I feel like this song and the aesthetic of like the music video, love, it just went so well with the whole life support concept but it's okay. She's still my baby and I love her. Dear Society, go stream it if you haven't. Okay, the beginning. I haven't listened to any snippets by the way, I skipped them all because I didn't want any previews. This is kind of reminding me of stained glass or selfish. I can't remember which one it is right now. It sounds like it would be background vocals to one of those songs. I'm liking it as an intro so far. It's like, welcome to the world of life support. I'm gonna pop the lyrics. Next is Good and Goodbye. I gotta be honest, I didn't get into this song until a couple months later, not because I didn't like it, I just kind of forgot it existed, but I had a phase with it again in the fall and I was like, okay, I love the spelling in the chorus, it's kind of a hit. <laughs> tickets yet for her virtual show but I have a feeling that after I listen to this I'm gonna I'm gonna end up purchasing them next we have default <laughs> whoa I thought it was gonna be like okay we got a sad song it's cool I love sad songs <laughs> wait outro maybe just is this like an interlude I'm looking at the lyrics and it went chorus outro I could also see that being a good intro song as well. If the beginning wasn't, I could see that being the intro to the album as well. This one I'm probably the most excited for because that name. But I, heard my name's on the tip of your I don't want to sound dumb and guess what that is, if that's an instrument or if that's like a produced noise, but it's giving me like, it's giving me metal. I don't know. Don't come from my life. So far, this is sounding exactly what I would expect Follow the White Rabbit to sound like. And that pre-chorus, the pre-chorus is giving October Halloween-ish. It's dark and mysterious. I like how it gets quiet and then it builds up again. She's I'm so overwhelmed and thank you so much. I hope it reaches you and touches you and makes you feel good. I hope it provides you some healing. She's an angel. Sorry, Madison, I gotta keep listening. Next is Effortlessly. Oh, I already love it. I already love it. Hold on. First off, relatable. This is this is gonna end up being one of my favorites. If I was experiencing a lot of anxiety, this already sounds like a song I'd listen to to relieve some of it. I feel like this one would have a really good music video if it became a single. Oh, 
that bridge is very hazy and I love songs that sound like that. I feel like Madison has found her own distinctive sound even with just Dear Society and Hurts Like Hell and I really like it and I think it works well for her. Stay numb and carry on. Isn't that how we carry on with life? I like how that progressed from effortlessly into stay numb and carry on. You gotta listen. I can't imagine ever listening to an album for the first time on shuffle. Like that's that's just black and white wrong. Oh, it's starting with the chorus. I love when songs start with the chorus. I just feel like it's fun. I thought this was gonna be about like, I don't know, depression. <laughs> More about a relationship and just going through the motions of moving on, I suppose. Next is Blue. I was always blue behind the red blood stain. I just started getting into Lana Del Rey music, so don't come for my life if this is wrong, but it's kind of sounding like Lana Del Rey. Her album's coming out soon, too. I'm looking at the lyrics, by the way. Oh boy. I like the lyrics to this one a lot, the verses. Oh, I thought it was done. Oh, I love that. That just made me love the song more. Baby, it's like your heart's in this constant eclipse. I don't know what to call that. Some robotic-like feature. Love how she keeps adding that to a lot of the songs because I feel like it overall contributes to the Madison Beer sound. Baby, I oh. Be. This may be wrong, but someone on Genius wrote the songs describe their Madison Beer as the middle of the album song that will switch from happy songs to deeply emotional songs. So that's interesting. Okay, Homesick. <laughs> <laughs> the intro to this song is already immaculate. I knew that you oh, I was expecting the guitar. This is my favorite, I think. I'm gonna say that to every song. Very, mm, this song feels like a, a hug. Developed Rick and Morty, her favorite show. This scale. is so yeah, her. I love the intro to Obsessed. I am obsessed with the intro of Selfish. It sounds carnival-y to me. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's the vision I see when I hear that, even though that has nothing to do with the song itself. I want to say this has probably been her most successful single from this era because of TikTok. I like how it's a vulnerable song that happened to pop off. with all the bridges on this album even though i know the song already that just sounded so like whimsical in a wonderland she should make that her next theme for her album i also love how she sighs at the end this is sour times I'm intrigued. Well, the background, I don't know how to describe it. I saw it. the background is like going like this, <laughs> and I feel like it's building up to something. Listen. <laughs> I'm done. It's building. I didn't expect it to sound like that. I love it! I love it! I know my shirt's Okay, percussion. The next couple songs we've already heard. 
This is boy shit. The music video. Madison Beer is sickening. Like, she's top tier face. I know that's a very sensitive thing for her. People reduce her to her beauty, and she's so much more than that. But she, I can't lie, she's beautiful. And she, she was serving in this music video. So I gotta give it that. I feel like this is a cute, even though this isn't the most positive song I guess. I like how it's like a cute little bop to break up all. Not that the album's heavy, but it's just this one's a little bit more uplifting just because it's more upbeat. And I like how it kind of breaks it up and we have Baby next, which is also another another freaking bop. I love how it feels like there's a lot going on in this part in this, the best way possible. In the fall, I had this hoe on repeat. Forget Baby by Justin Bieber. <laughs> this is my favorite part. forgot about this song because I think it was only a promo single but I almost want to say I kind of like this one a little bit better than Selfish. The skin is made of glass but apparently it's stained. I really like the um the imagery I don't know if that's the right word the lyrics of the song I guess you can say like the picture it paints even though it's not a good one but also little touches like this add so much to the album. <laughs> I just noticed her ways are like kind of echoey in like an extraterrestrial type of way. Homesick tease. Oh, I love her sound. I'm never getting over it. Okay, emotional bruises. Oh, Yo. I'm like trying to decide which song's my favorite. Like this already sounds like it's gonna be one of my favorites. I love that. The paper ripping in the background. Oh, she's counting down. Sorry, I'm looking at the lyrics and I read ahead. No, this is my favorite. Forget it. I like Wanna Cry because this song is so good. Oh, and it makes it more special that this is a song that teases the album title. Oh my god, there's like a hospital heartbeat monitor thingy in the background. This is gonna be the song that makes me buy tickets to our virtual show. Ooh. Everything happens for a reason. The bar necklace that I wear that says 17, I bought it for my 17th year of life. On the back it says everything happens for a reason. That's what I tried to tell myself as I was slowly but surely becoming depressed. Love that. I used to oh, this sounds different. Happens for a she used to believe. Fuck, I'm screwed. This one's reminding me of Tyler Durden from the EP. It's more stripped. gonna say that sounds kind of it was sounding a little bit old school but then it went into like the I don't know robotic and the chorus is kind of like that she keeps surprising me this is so cute it's giving me like a old school dreamy movie but it's like sad not sad but it's not a happy song and it's weird I'm kind of tripped out but in the best way possible channel surfing slash the end I love that title Baby? <gasps> You're joking. She's freaking playing all the songs in here. Why is that the coolest thing I've ever heard? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I just told you how much I love Dear Society. My sister just texted me. That was such a cute way to close the album. I wasn't expecting that. That's literally the best outro I've ever heard in my life. I'm tweeting her right now. No, because why is that the best thing I've ever heard in my life? Because it felt like I just made the album with her. Whoa. I'm adding it to this playlist I have. <laughs> That's like my life soundtrack. Yo. Oh my god. I'm going to have to get tickets for her virtual show now. What the hell? 
Guys, I'm so happy sad right now. What the heck? I literally wanna cry, I'm so happy for her. This is insane. That was a beautiful piece of work and I'm so proud of her. Life support I think is like the best name for an album ever. I don't know, it makes me happy because I feel like this is her life support album. I feel like a lot of the tracks were like very real and raw. Not like a draining, oh this is such a sad album sort of way, but in like a musical hug sort of way. An album that not only I, but a lot of people can find comfort in. And oh my god, it's so beautiful and I'm gonna see her on tour. Fun fact, I actually won Madison Beer concert today tickets on Instagram three years ago, but I realized after I won that it was a concert in the UK meant for UK residents, so that was kind of a bummer. If I had the money to pop over to the UK that night, I would have. I don't really know what else to say. I appreciate if you gave the video a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe if you would like, and I'll see you very soon. Go stream life support.